Whoever killed Torque Dog, whoever invited us, they're after the enchanted flint and steel. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, oh god, not again. Oh shh. Someone someone get a life! I'm panicking. Oh crap. Greetings, adventurers. I am the white pumpkin. One of you is the treasure. Oh I god, desire. rip! Rest until it is mine, even if I have to resort to murder. Not again. You serious? Rip sparkles. Oh, I can't believe sparkles was a second guy. This is awful. Terrible. Who was that guy? And there's no such thing as white pumpkin. Are you kidding me? It was our host. I saw him in the window. It was oh, our host. White pumpkin is our host. He wants us that to play a game. Host? Well, I'm not sticking around to see how the rest of this party goes. <gasps> Why don't we just? Oh no, we can't give him the so flint still because and... that will lead him to all the portals. Oh, no! oh god. Why are we splitting up? I don't understand. Oh. Shut the door, shut the door! Winslow, don't, don't! Oh, is it too late? God, oh shit! No, 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 no. Woo! Come here, Winslow. Don't be scared. So we're stuck in here. And if we're stuck in here, we're all doomed. Well done, guys. Don't split up, please. I thought I heard Sparkle say something about a flint and steel. Yeah, I, I have no please idea about what that is. That up again. Well, obviously, Talk Dog didn't steal it. Okay, but who then? Uh, no Jessie? one stole it, I guess. It's a treasure. Yeah, kind of guessed that. Well done, Sparkles. Well, I guess I'm next then. Oh, Ivor, no. Nope, not happening. Why would he want you? I'll protect Don't you. Don't worry, Ivor. I'll protect you. No. We've lost Reuben. Jesse, I just hope that this white pumpkin isn't beyond both of our abilities. Well, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for how the white pumpkin is doing all this. I mean, the whole place has got to be rigged with traps, right? Torque Dog. Trap. Sparkles. Trap. Yep. Yeah, we need to find out what makes these traps tick. Yeah. The control room, I guess? Shady. This All corridor right, is I'm very inviting. That dining room. Cool. I'll keep those guys in the we're going back to the. So uh, keep an eye on okay, we're gonna do some it's Sherlock Holmes. Don't want them messing up the crime scene. I'm sticking with you, Jesse. Doesn't seem safe to wander off alone. Okay, people, clear out. This is a crime scene. Oh, is this what this episode is all about? Okay, how are you doing this, White Pumpkin? Illusions. Redstones, I'm guessing. Uh, these controls, I'm sorry. It's quite confusing. Fireplace, look at. There we go. Anything out of place? Impressive. Anything? Nah, it looks like a regular old fireplace. What's so interesting about it then? There's a redstone here, so. It was a torch before, right? I remember the cake being there. It's just. The lantern, the pumpkin lantern. Okay, so this was the dining stones. table where right before or right lamps. Before, oh, there's a oh, oh, there's a button there. Hang on. Okay, let's give this a shot. So whoever sat there. Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. Yep. Wait, who said that before? Was it Dan? It is mine, even if I have to resort to murder. No, it's just a it's armor just stand. A costume on an armor stand with a jukebox for the voice. No sign of how it was triggered. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. The white pumpkin must have some amazing redstone skills to rig up something like this. But why? 
must have taken a lot of work to rig up. It's a diversion. They must have a reason for it. It must have been a diversion for from sure. whatever was going on in the room at the time. What, yeah, like you think the, the person is in, in the, the room? room with us? Yeah. Possibly. Who who was sitting Daddy! in that spot? He's back! The white pumpkin's back! Don't worry, everyone, it's just a dummy. A white pumpkin can costume on an armor stand. Wait, what? Why? The trap that killed Sparkles, the whole show with the white pumpkin. It was all triggered by a button on the table. Who was sitting there? But what does that mean? I am so creeped out right now. Understandably. The killer sat it at this table. means that the white pumpkin sat at this very table and pushed the button. Yeah. Wait, so you're saying that the white pumpkin is one of us? That's right, Mr. Stampy. One of us is a murderer. It's still a theory. And okay. He sat right here. What? There's another wait, one there? But that's not where Jesse found the button before. There's more than one. Wait, wait, wait. I'll see if I can find all of them. Okay, everyone gather up and push that nice small button there. Yes. I must say I'm relieved to know that there's a logical explanation for what the white pumpkin's been doing. So what now? Feels like we've made some good progress so far though, right? Uh we keep looking for clues Once first. Once we get everyone calmed down, we need to keep looking for clues. So far we found those tipped arrows and these traps, meaning that the white pumpkin is a great brewer and a redstone expert. Okay, that's all of them. If you could all please take the same seat you were at before. Four of your seats are marked. These are the seats that had a button to activate the trap. That means the white pumpkin could only be Dan, Stampy, Lizzie, or Lucas. Wait, you're accusing us? Yeah. Wait, what? I echo their sentiments exactly. I didn't even see a button. Me neither. This is crazy. Well, someone Well, did someone it. had to do it. I'm just looking at the facts here. I don't like it. No, sir. I don't like it. I'm taking charge now, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I like how we just come into their world separated. and start I'm going to talk to each suspect being bossy. one by one so I can find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. I want everyone separated. I, I don't want that. a lot of questions, and I want nice little matching answers for each and every one of them understand me loud and clear yes crystal clear who are you gonna interrogate first stampy stampy cat <laughs> I like how he's just so cowardly like are we in the library now that's the white pumpkin in the top hat Is that like the Herobrine for this story? Well done, separate the group again. Jesse, I'm telling you, this is just crazy! Absolutely crazy! Total misunderstanding! I don't even want that flint and steel thingy! Not um, as much as the others at any rate! How do you know about the flint and Did steel? Did I hear someone saying that it has something to do with portals? I don't have any interest in portals. No, sir. Not for all, Mr. Stampy Cat, thank you. <laughs> it's me, Stampy! Everyone's friend! You seem nervous, yeah. I gotta say, Stampy, you seem nervous. Everything okay? You comfortable? Um, We're what? being really no, harsh on you. I'm not nervous. Nope. Totally comfortable. I could fall asleep right here, right now. I'm that comfortable, honestly. Does he always talk like that? Please, just tell me what you want to know. It's very high strung. Uh, what about the tipped arrow? Uh, what's his skill in redstone? What do you know about redstone? What's your skill level with the stuff? Oh, well, you know, about average? Average level? Moderate? I, I don't know how these things are graded these days. I know that Dan's been getting really into the stuff lately, though. Oh. Just putting that out there, in case you're curious. Dan's interested in redstone, huh? What about the tipped arrow? Know anything about this? Oh, wow! What is that? Some sort of magic arrow? No, I've never seen anything like it before. Honest. You know who would love to see something like that, though? Lizzie! Dan She's wild about Lizzie. potions and brewing and all of that. She's way better with that stuff than I am. Good with potions, you say? Very good. Could probably even teach a class. <laughs> okay, enough dancing around. Who do you think took the flint and steel? I don't think it was ever actually stolen. It never was. No. Yeah, so Dan got it ahead of Lizzie, right? And she was pretty angry about it. I think he made up that story about it being stolen, so she'd think he didn't have it anymore. Classic Dan move. 
So Dan used to have it? Or something? You're excused, Stampy. Thank you for your time. Ah, oh, thank goodness. This room's making me very nervous. <sighs> okay, next? bringing the next suspect. Bring me Dan. Can you send Dan in, please? Right. Why? Hey, I don't know what Stampy told you, but... I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. Honest. I would never hurt anyone. You've got to believe me. If anyone's been wronged here, it's me. That enchanted flint and steel everyone's talking about, I found that. That's mine. At least it was before someone stole it. Where did you put it? Under a temple? And now everything's gone completely crazy. People getting caught in horrible traps, everyone accusing and blaming each other. It means a lot to you. Wow, this flint and steel means a lot to you, doesn't it? You don't get it. Lizzie and I have been chasing each other to get that thing for years. And now people are dying because of it? I just want you to know the truth. Okay. I'm not the white pumpkin. You've got to believe me. What can I tell you to convince you? Uh, tell me why your hair changes color every second. Um, uh, show him the arrow. How's your redstone, Dan? He's pretty good with so, that. So, how do you rate your redstone knowledge? Me? Whew, not much. Not really my scene. Really? You want to know more about that stuff? You should ask Stampy. He was the Tri-Block champion. Really? Dude, Stampy said that you were pretty into redstone. Okay. <laughs> what? No, he's got me confused with someone else. I'm sure of it. Now, Lizzie, though, I've seen her do some amazing things with redstone. I thought Lizzie Between was the one with me, the potions. I wouldn't be surprised if she was the one behind all of this. Everyone's pointing fingers back here. Know anything about this? Oh, wow. Uh, no, I've never seen anything like that before. Lie. No? Tipped arrows not ringing a bell? Made using potions? That was a lie. Nuh-uh, but you want to know about stuff with potions? I've asked Lizzie. She's way better with that stuff than I am. That straight up sounded like a lie. Who stole your flint and steel, Out Dad? With it. Who stole the flint and steel? Oh, well, Were they Lizzie, two sets before? She was jealous. Never got over the fact that I found it first. You can go now, Dan. All right. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you. You're off for now. And when you talk to Lizzie, don't forget to ask her about those crazy magic arrows. I bet she'll know something. Will do. Uh, if Want your hair changes Lizzie? again... That'd be great. Thanks, Petra. We're gonna be asking more questions later. Hello, Lizzie. Have a seat. Jesse, listen. There's been a lot of talk thrown around today. I don't know what people have told you. I don't know what you believe. But I'll just admit it. I want that enchanted flint and steel as much as anyone. Probably more than any of them. I've been searching for it for years. Do you know how much it's stung to have Dan... Dan swoop in and take it from under my nose? So aggravating. Hang on, I thought you said you found it. Well, I as good as found it. I did the research, I did the studying. I was all prepared to go in there and finally get it when that little goggle-wearing goon swept in and stole it first. Okay. Listen, I just want to get out of here and get on with my day. What do you have to hear to be convinced that the white pumpkin isn't me? Tell me why Dan's hair always changes color. It's that simple. Know what this is? Tipped arrow. Kinda shoddy work, though. Definitely not one of mine, if that's what you're wondering. Some noob made that thing. Ooh, snap, son. What? Yeah, I knew what a tipped arrow was. I'm a good brewer. Doesn't mean it's mine. Yeah, that's true. I taught true. Cassie and Stacy how to make those ages ago. That's true. No, because everyone else seems to think otherwise. What? What are you talking They're about? They're pointing at you. Um, is Dan be the white? Is Dan a white pumpkin? No, nothing. Nothing. Tell me something, though. What are your Do opinions on this? you think Dan is the white pumpkin? Oh, most definitely. He and I have been competing for the flint and steel for ages. This whole scheme to finally get it seems totally Dan. Hmm. Did you take the flint and steel? How are you? How are you making traps? You like using redstone? Ever make traps with this stuff? I'm fine, I guess. I can make lights and doors and stuff. You want to do advanced stuff? You gotta talk to Stampy. He was the tri block champion. So I've heard. Yeah. And he said he know nothing about. Not know nothing about. He he averagely knows about our redstone engineering. I'm just gonna be straight. Who do you think stole the flint and steel? You well, it wasn't me, if you're curious. If I had an enchanted flint and steel, I'd be off exploring some other world with it. We are the one who took it, right? Between you and me, though, 
I think Dan's whole story about it being stolen from him is a load of trash. I bet he's still got it. Thanks for your time, Lizzie. That's all for now. No, the thing is, we don't know how many sets of flint and steel oh, come on. there are. Nuts. You had a button too. Why is Lucas... Fair is fair. It's your buddy's turn next. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Lucas. What's up, buddy? Hey, Jesse. Ah, my final suspect. Here to point more fingers and blame more people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I figured. Thanks, though. How's it been going in here? It is just non-stop whispering and rumors out there. Me, Petra, and Ivor pretty much been sticking to ourselves. These people have no, so much drama. These people have so much drama going on, it's hard to tell what's about the flint and steel, what's about the white pumpkin. Well, I know you can do it. <laughs> Thanks, Lucas. Come on, suspect. It's time to return to the others. That's it? We're not going to ask him some more? Where? So? Have you decided? Yes. Who do you think the white pumpkin really is? No, hang on. Hang on, everyone. First of all, I want to thank everyone for answering my questions. There's still not 100% proof of anyone, but... But... Yes. Where are your suspicions, Lady Jesse? Oh, we're gonna stop pointing Jesse fingers was definitely now? questioning Stampy the longest. What? No! Dan was in there way longer. Hey, not cool. Guys, guys, come on. I'm still not sure enough, actually. I actually don't think there's evidence to it. Maybe it might not be anyway. any of them. What? Yeah, that seems Maybe surprising. Maybe it, it could still I'm be. I'm sorry, but I don't want to accuse anyone unless I'm 100% sure. And I'm not. Wow. Way to Still take a bold pay. stance, Jesse. Well, I, for one, am not comfortable being surrounded by possible killers. So if you'll excuse me, I'm going to barricade myself in the library for my own safety. Fine, suit yourself. Yeah, I'm more in the safety and numbers. Okay, GG, guys. Uh, well done. <laughs>